So welcome to Jazz Piano Daily number 111. Today we're going to do part two of our understanding tritone substitutions. Now I am also going to be doing a tritone substitution uh, uh, examples over jazz standards in a couple of days, so be sure to look for that lesson. All right, let's uh, take a look at our sheet music here. All right, so first of all, we have our regular 2-5-1. We're here in the key of B flat. I do a lot of stuff in the key of C to make it easier, but you know what? We've been in the key of B flat. Let's kind of up our game a little bit and talk about stuff in the key of B flat. So we have C minor seven, F seven, B flat major seven. It's your basic two five one progression using rootless chord voicings in the in the right hand, roots in the left hand. All right. So C minor seven, F seven, B flat major seven. See, see the notes that are in common. So that's your regular 2-5-1 progression. All right, so now let's talk about how we can start to utilize our tritone substitutions. The first one that we could do is we could do the tritone substitution by substituting the root. Remember before when I said, oh, okay, rather than playing B flat seven, you could play a tritone away in the left hand, and that changes the chord from B flat seven into what? E seven altered. So we could do that to start. So if we do C minor seven, rather than going C minor seven, F seven, B flat, we could go C minor seven, B seven altered to B flat major seven. So the right hand chord remain the same. I did not change the notes of the chord in the right hand, right? Okay, notes of the chord are exactly the same as F seven. So if I put an F there, it sounds like F seven, if I put a B there, it sounds like B7 altered, and then the B flat major. Now this is not what we would typically consider our, uh, our, our typical um, uh, tritone substitution. Why? Because a lot of times we don't want to utilize an altered chord because, well, it's altered, right? It, it like has a sharp 9, flat 13, there's a lot of tension that's being created there. So a lot of times we just want to do a tritone substitution without all of that alteration. So what we do is we change that B7 altered into just a regular B7 chord. And that gives us our regular tritone substitution. So one way of looking at this is we have C minor 7 to F7 to B flat. That's 2, 5, 1. So rather than playing the 5 chord, the F, we go to the tritone away, right, which is B, right? fifth down a half step, right, B, and we just play a dominant seventh chord on that note. So B7, then the B flat major. So, so two different ways in which you can look at it. One is changing the root or change it into a, just a regular dominant seventh chord. Okay? So that's your tritone substitution. If you don't fully get it, don't worry, you can watch the video again. And like I said, in a couple of days, I'm going to be doing some jazz standard examples. So I'll give you a couple of examples that will help to kind of make it a, just a little bit easier for you to understand. The best thing that you could do for yourself right now is to understand that there are basically two ways of looking at the tritone. Number one, tritone is an interval. It's a certain distance away. Okay, so you can look at it like, so if I say, hey, the C7 has a tritone in it, well, yes, I'm talking intervallically. It has a tritone interval in that C7 chord, right? So if I say there's a tritone in there, I'm talking about the interval of the notes. Now, the other way of looking at it is a tritone substitution. The tritone substitution replaces the root of the five chord with a note, a tritone away. That creates your altered sound. If you don't want it to be altered, still same root, right? So still replacing a tritone away, but you're just changing the chord from an altered chord into a regular chord. So if I did it on, on, on C, right? So D minor seven, G seven, C. So what I could do is rather than playing the G, go to the tritone, right? Which is D flat. And then that creates a D flat altered chord and a C major. Or what I could say is, oh, I don't want all that alteration. I still want the tritone, but what I'll do is 
just change it to a D flat seven chord right here rather than uh, playing the alter chord, then back down to C major. I'll give you one other way in which you can look at it, right? I find that this is a little bit easier. A tritone substitution is always a half step above the resolution chord. So when I'm trying to get to C major, I know all I gotta do is go up a half step, create a dominant seventh chord, and then it resolves down to C, okay? Let's say I'm gonna do a two five and E flat. I know I just gotta go to an E, half step above the E flat, and then I go down to E flat. All right, so anyway, that's it. Like I said, I'll, I'll uh, see you in a couple of days with that example on um, uh, using the tritone on standards. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about how to create that blues bass line with those tritone substitutions. I'll see you in tomorrow's lesson. To get the first 45 pages of music for free, just go back to jazzpianodaily.com. If you liked the video, please be sure to click the like button and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. To watch the rest of the lessons in this series, just click on the playlist to the right of this arrow. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.